Welcome to this video. In this video, we will see some filter functions that are all, all accept and all selected. So filter function in DAX are some of the most complex and powerful, but greatly used functions. It lets you to manipulate data context to create dynamic calculations. So, so of the three filter functions we are going to see today, first one is all function. All functions return all the rows in a table or all the values in a column, ignoring any filter that might have been applied. So the parameters for the whole functions are, you have to give the table name and the column name. So what all function will do is that it will take out the filter from that column. The same for all selected. It removes the context filter from columns and rows in the current query while retaining all other context filters or explicit filters. So it returns the context query without any columns and row filters, almost similar to all. And now all except is it removes all context filters in table except filters that have been applied to the specific column. So whatever parameter you give that column, it won't filter. So except the column you are giving as a parameter to all except function, it will remove out every filter from all of the columns except the column which you are giving as parameter. So the filter will be preserved in that parameter. So as an example, you can see this is all filter. So in those all filter, when you use the state as a parameter, so it has taken away the filter from this table. So at the same time, since it, you have given the state as parameter, now when you apply that all in city, you can you can get the filter. So it will get applied only in the parameter which is being given to the all DAX function. But this all selector, we have given only all selector. We haven't mentioned anything. We have given all selector. That means it is going to filter everything, whatever it is applied. So first we have applied it to the state. So it has taken away everything, all the filters from the state column. Now we have applied in the city column and it has taken away all the filters from the city also. So the last one is all except, except the column name which you are given. All other columns and tables, it is going to take away the filter. Only the parameter you are giving, that will keep the filter. So here they have given the state. So since they have given the state as parameter, just keep, you just kept the filter. But at the same time, the same filter we have used it here, it has taken away the filter of city. So as an example, we can see, we have a data set. We have already a measure of total revenue. And now we are going to deal with the region table and town table. Where in the town table, we are going to create all these three filters and we will tie to the region table also. And we will see the difference how it will act in both the ways. So first we were going to create a new measure for creating all filter. So here we are given, going to give all filter. We are going to get the revenue, all revenue with respect to town equals you can get calculate function and we have already a measure of revenue, total revenue. And now we are going to change the filter. We are going to remove the filter from the town. So you need to give the expression that is all. And here we have to give first is the table name as well as the column name. So we can give town, town name, and we can close it. So it will take away the filter from the town column. This column is going to take away the filter, but in every other columns and tables, the filter will be there. First, we will create a call table. In this table, we are going to give the town name and we are going to give the all filter town value. So you can see it haven't filtered. Usually it used to get filter, but in this case, since we have used all function, it didn't get filtered. Now for the same thing, we, are going, we will call them, that is the region name. So we will take the region name and we will use the same measure. And you can see here, everything got filtered. So that is the difference when we, we have given all and we have given the parameter as town name. So since we have given like that, the filter for this it has been town name has been taken off. So we are not, we are not able to get the filter for this. But at the same time, all other columns, we are going to get the filter. So for region name, we got the filter. So the next one is all selected. We are going to give filter for everything. We are not giving, passing any parameters. Simply we are going to give the filter for everything. So we can create a new measure for all selected. So we will create the measure, the name as all revenue selected equals to calculate total revenue and we can do the filter as all select and just close it like that. So it means that we have taken our filter from everything. 
so we will first uh, try it in this town table so we will select it and it has taken away all the filter the entire value is being showed up we will try to do it in the region table also so we have given here here also they have taken away all the filter so all selected means it will take away every filter from every table but there is a different option when we give a slicer it will vary so this is called as internal filter when you give an external filter for all selected it will change the filter will get applied and we will see it after we see that all accept filter so now we are going to give that the measure for all accept so all revenue except town equals to calculate total revenue and we will see all all except and you have to give the table name and the table name is town and you need to give the column name and that is town name so it will take over the filter from all the table all the columns and all the tables except town name so in this town on town name column it will be keeping the filters so we will try it in the first table that is town table we can select that and see yeah it is getting filtered with respect to the town name but here according to the all except, except filter it should not get filtered it should be same as this so we will try here also select the region and here we are going to select it yeah we took away all the filter from this table so that is the big difference between these all the three all means okay whatever parameter you are going to be that parameter is going to leave the filter so that parameter is going going to un get unfiltered so and all revenue selected also the same way it is going to get unfiltered but all revenue all except means whatever parameter you are going to give that is going to get filtered but all other columns are going to get unfiltered the change happens when we create a slicer so we are going to give a slicer for region so we have this region and here we can see when we earlier we have said that in all selected it has taken away all the internal filter but at external filter will still work out so we will see whether how the external filter is working out so we will select the now we can see the external filter is working out but still you can see all revenue all except here the external filter is also not working it has taken away the except external filter also basically you use all when you take the percentage of the revenue from four different towns because you you want to take the percentage of revenue for each town name you need to get the filter you need to get the revenue from each town you have to take it and you have to divide it by the total amount if you want we can see an example of that so we will try to uh, get the percentage so we are going to get the percentage of town and we are going to use all because to you have to get the total total revenue will be filtered in this column so total revenue you have you need to divide by calculate divided by the full the full value that means this value so for getting this value you need to use this filter so calculate total revenue and you can give the filter all and down it so if you if you select the one here before that you need to select here and we have to give it as percentage so now we got it so with respect to the town we can see how many percentage it is so for this kind of options we use filter you can do the same thing for uh, creating a you can populate it in the bar chart and you can give the town name and you can give the percentage also if you don't want to get filtered if you want to get the entire amount you can use all these functions the difference between these functions are this you can use it in totally different ways and different scenarios hope this will help you thank you have a nice day